And that's it. They're under orders and they're away. And Imperial Black is one of the first to show from Roman Bistro. Then on the outside is Musso. Just in behind Musso is Grease Paint, Imperial Black. And as they race down towards Beaches, Rupert T Rupertino joins Imperial Black. On the outside, Roman Bistro. Then comes Musso, then Grease Paint. And as they run down across the Melling Road towards John Hanmer's sector, it's Rupertino, Imperial Black, and Musso on the outside. Over to you, John. Only one of the leaders, too, and so is Musso. And a bad mistake there by Never Tampa and by Judy. And the faller of the first, Talon, bashful lad, Sonny Hull Sport. And as they jump the second, the Hello Dandy has gone. And as they go to the third, it's Judy on the outside from Glen Fox, Musso, then Classified, then Roman Bistro, West Tip. And a faller there was Crozer, and Northern Bay has fallen. And Shady Deal has fallen, and as they jump the fourth over to Julian Wilson. Hello Dandy, in fact, unseated his rider, but Doody leads coming down towards the one before beach. There's Glenn Fox there, towards the inside is Roman Bistro, towards the centre is classified with grease paint in a perfect position. Musso also in a good position, all the leaders over that one. In fact, uh, practically everything seems to be over it as the leaders run down to Beaches. Cumbie, in fact, the faller at the back. And the leader down to Beaches is Doody. Doody coming to Beaches and over it. Doody calls a cab. Glenn Fox over in second. Then the Roman Bistro and all the leaders are over. Art Cloud makes a bad mistake. There's a faller at the back. Attack Roy is down. Hill of Slain is down. But the rest of them over and over the following fence, the seventh fence, with Doody the leader from Glen Fox in second, then Roman Bistro. Behind that is Corbier in fourth, then Musso and Imperial Black and Grease Paint, then Captain Parkhurst and uh, Royal Appointment and Rupertino as they jump the canal turn. Doody over from Glen Fox and Roman Bistro, then Corbier. Musso made a mistake there. Grease Paint jumps it well on the outside of Imperial Black, just behind those. Uh, Behind the leaders is uh, Rupertino, then Musso and Royal Appointment and uh, Captain Park Hill as they jump that one. Just behind those is Last Suspect and Scott Lane. But up front, it's still Doody from Glen Fox, Corbier, Roman Bistro, Imperial Black as we rejoin John Hammer. And still the leader is Doody from Glen Fox, then Roman Bistro, Imperial Black, Corbier going easily on the inside, then comes Rupertino, Grease Paint going smoothly, then... Captain Park Hill and going to the 12th fence. It's Judy in the lead from Glen Fox, Imperial Black, then Roman Bistro and Corbier and Rupertino. Just behind them comes Grease Paint, then Captain Park Hill, Scott Lane, who made a mistake, Masso, who made a mistake, then last suspect, West Tip. Three quarters of the way down the field, but where he wants to be by the look of it as they go across the Melling Road with Judy in the lead from Glen Fox, Imperial Black, Rupertino, Corbier, then Raymond Bistro, Grease Paint, then Scott Lane, Last Suspect, and West Tip and Musso, and Royal Appointment, and over to Peter O'Sullivan. Yes, it's Doody and Tony Mullins having his first ride in the National. Well clear at the moment as he comes down towards the next. Doody clear of Imperial back and Black and Rupertino. Then Corbier on the inside. Glenn Fox on the outer. Roman Bistro is next. And behind them come Grease Paint and then Scott Lane. And behind Scott Lane is Royal Appointment as they come to jump this one. Doody lands in the lead from Imperial Back and Rupertino and Glenn Fox. Another plain one before the chair. Doody in the lead. Rupertino, Imperial Black, Glenn Fox and Corbier. Then comes Grease Paint and just in behind them, West Tip. And now they're making towards the chair with Doody clear of Rupertino, Corbier, Imperial Black, West Tip. Behind West Tip is Glenn Fox close. Over the chair, Doody lands in the lead. And a very bad mistake there by Captain Park Hill. He's almost unseated his rider. He looks as though he's getting back, though, as Doody comes to the water in the lead by four lengths. Doody jumps it from Rupertino. West Tip jumps it third, Corbier four. Then comes Last Suspect and Imperial Black and Glen Fox, and then Grease Paint on the inside of Royal Appointment just in behind them. 
the come Broomy Bank who's making ground. Behind uh, Broomy Bank is Scott Lane. They're running down now towards the Melling Road on the final circuit. Doody in the lead from Rupertino. West Tip on the outside. Corbiere on the inner. Then comes Grease Paint, Imperial Black and Lars Suspect. And with that order, over to John Hanmer. And the next is the 17th and Doody out in the centre of the course is in the lead. Pressed by West Tip. Lars Suspect going right up to them as well. But Doody now at the 17th. And he only just got over it. Last suspect, West Tip, Rupertino and Corbiere all close up. So is Grease Paint. And behind them come Glenn Fox, who's lost ground. Then Royal Appointment, Duty at the 18th. And he's having another long look at it, but he's just over it. But he's losing the lead to West Tip, Corbiere and Rupertino. Then comes Last Suspect. And this is the 19th, the open ditch. Corbiere on the inside with West Tip. And West Tip jumped it much the better. Roman Bistro's refused duty, the leaders down, and as they go to the 20th, it's West Tip, Rupertino, Corbier, last suspect, and Grease Paint, and Musso's pulled up, Glenn Fox has pulled up, and come by, and over to Julian Wilson. And a mistake there by Grease Paint, but up front, it's Rupertino, West Tip, on the inside, Corbier going really well towards the outside, last suspect, Mr. Snugfit's getting closer now, so they come to the one before Beaches, Rupertino over, from in the end, on the inside, Corbier towards the outside is West Tip, then Grease Paint, Grease Paint's rider looks over his shoulder to see last suspect behind him, Royal Appointment fell at that one, as they come down to Beaches for the second time, and the field led by West Tip on the outside of Rupertino and Corbier, Corbier and West Tip together, and West Tip makes a mistake and is down. West Tip is down. That leads Corbier in front. Drum Logan's been pulled up at the back, but Corbier leads now from Rupertino. Last suspect in third. Grease Paint is fourth. As they jump the 23rd, immigrates a faller at Beaches. And over the 23rd is Rupertino from Corbier. Last suspect in third. Then Grease Paint fourth. Scott Lane's fifth. Behind that is Mr. Snugfit. Behind Mr. Snugfit is classified and Glenn Fox as they jump the canal turn. And over it, Rupertino, Corbier, last suspect, Grease Paint. Behind Grease Paint is Scott Lane and Mr. S Mr. Snugfit. Behind that is Classified. Behind Classified is Glenn Fox and Imperial Black. And then a long gap back to Captain Parkhill and Fettered Friend. But up front, Tavatelli has refused to at the back. Forloon is a faller at the back, but up front it's Corbier now from last suspect, Rupertino, Grease Paint as we rejoin John Hammer. And Corbier in the lead from Rupertino, last suspect, Grease Paint, Mr. Snugford, Scott Lane, and then comes Classified, and this is the last ditch, four from home, and Corbier over in the lead, a mistake by Rupertino, but last suspect's in second place. Then at Rupertino being passed by Grease Paint, then comes Mr. Snugford, classified, and then comes Scott Lane. This is the third last. And Corbier over in the lead from last suspect who made a mistake, then Grease Paint. And then comes Mr. Snugford improving, then Rupertino in classified, and Scott Lane and Glenn Fox, and a long way back is Imperial Black, and then Captain Parkhill, but going across the Melling Road with two to jump. It's Corbier from Grease Paint, then Mr. Snugford, last suspect, Rupertino classified, and Scott Lane, and over to Peter O'Sullivan. And just two fences left to jump in the 85 National, and it's Corbier who's clear at the moment of Grease Paint. Then comes Mr. Snugfit, then Rupertino, and then Classified, who's trying to close on this quartet as they race down towards the last, the second last fence now. Peter Scudamore on Corbier being pressed by Mr. Snugfit. Under pressure is Grease Paint, then comes Last Suspect, and then Classified still making progress. At the second last fence now, Corbier with his white face challenged by Mr. Snugfit, who takes it up. And it's Mr. Snugfit and Phil Tuck who've taken it up now from Corbier. Grease Paint is next, followed by Last Suspect, and then comes Classified at the last fence in the National. Mr. Snugfit for the North. Jumps it in the lead from Corbier, jumps it second, Grease Paint third. Last suspect four, classified five, racing towards the elbow. And Mr. Snugfit is clear of Corbier, Grease Paint, last suspect and classified. Inside the final one furlong and 50 yards now as they reach the elbow. Mr. Snugfit being challenged again by Corbier. It's Mr. Snugfit from Corbier and last suspect putting in a tremendous run towards the strand side. It's Mr. Snugfit from last suspect, last suspect. He's beginning to get up on the near side and last suspect has won it. Last suspect's the winner. Mr. Snugfit second, Corbier third, fourth with three space and fifth was classified.
The largely unconsidered 50 to 1 outsider last suspect won the third Grand National success for Tim Forster, following a well to do. And Ben Nevis, Hugh Davis on board, Mr. Snugfit second 12 to 1. Corbier third at 9 to 1, with Grease Paint placed yet again at 13 to 2. Joint favourite, the other joint favourite was West Tip, disputing the lead when falling at Beaches. Well, the trainer, Captain Tim Forster, and owner Anne Duchess of Westminster weren't especially keen to run last suspect in the national, and jockey Huel Davis had a big part to play in the horse taking his chance. 